but the quality of the music uh, in this period of the 1810 to 1820 is not the same. You don't hear quite the same music as came out earlier. <clears throat> Even the, shall we say, the fourth concerto of Beethoven, the fifth concerto of Beethoven is not quite the same as, uh, you know, as we see uh, the, the, the Les Adieu Sonata of Beethoven <clears throat> and the Cello Sonata of 1816 and the Hammerklavier. All of these pieces are on a, a, a much more, um, shall we say, orchestral sounding instrument. That's the best way to describe the Graf and its appeal. I think the piano by this time had become the home orchestra for uh, those aspiring people who could pay for an instrument. And to this, in this extent, you, you also see that during that same period after 1810, so many pianos had extra pedals for Janissary music, which is the drum, cymbal, and bells on one pedal, bang. Plus the fagot stop, which is a bassoon stop, which places parchment, a roll of parchment on the strings, and they buzz. Uh, now these are uh, effects which are nowhere written in any manuscript. So the, the use of these very common bells and pedals and extra things uh, there is nowhere indicated in any manuscript, please bang on the Janissary music. Uh, Mozart's Turkish march is uh, much earlier, and there was, there was no piano with this Turkish music of that time. It's called Turkish music, the Janissary bells and cymbal and drum, you understand. Uh, but that is not in Mozart's famous Turkish march. Pianos of his, of the 1780s, I'm trying to say, never had these bells. Only later, only after 1800, and more so after 1810. Who knows why? But that's what we have in the piano of 1816 and the 18, piano of 1819, the same model, uh, which Beethoven commented to Streicher that he preferred. He said he preferred a Graf. said this in 1816. And that's the year of the <clears throat> Opus 102 cello sonatas. It's also the year of the Hammerklavier sonata, which is a big departure in music. It's a watershed moment. Uh, <clears throat> and it has to do with the possibilities of the piano available to him. Now, Beethoven <clears throat> was socially deaf, but I believe musically able to process what is this piano in front of him uh, <clears throat> enough to say with reliable conviction to another piano builder that actually he wants a graph. My feeling is that the Opus 102 sonatas and the, the Opus 106 sonata and the other late sonatas of Beethoven are uh, integral to the sound possibilities of this orchestral sounding instrument, graph.